Okay, good afternoon. This is Jace, aka Cactus Jack. There it is. That's my old house. The, the pink one there. I used those uh, three windows on top, that was my bedroom. So every morning I look out at the beach. And I do miss that. So you can see they redid the uh, my back deck. Yeah, it didn't used to be that way. It's, it's all redone. I liked it my way better. But what can you say? You know, so yeah, that's where I used to live right there. I had a deck out here with stairs and I could walk right out here to the sand but that was then and this is now so turn around this way and yeah there it is man quiet now speaking of flat earth all right I mean give me a break now I granted we have mountains and islands but you know it's flat look at the horizon that's why they call it horizontal because horizon is flat. There's no curvature. <laughs> and then they say, oh, well, you can see the boats going out over the curve. Well, guess what? When you zoom in with a, uh, a zoom lens camera or a telescope, you can see the ship as plain as day. So it doesn't go over the curve of the earth. I, I haven't done it myself, but there's plenty of people who have done that experiment. So, yeah, as soon as I uh, can, I'm going to buy a camera and do it myself. But there's plenty of people who have done it, and they say, yeah, when you zoom in, you can, st you can still see the boat, which is impossible according to the curve of the, or the alleged curve of the earth. It should be impossible. But you, you can see the ship. All right, so that blows that out of the water. So every argument the globe earthers have that it gets blown out of the water and then they have to resort to well that's what we learned in the textbooks you know from day one in first grade we saw the globe <laughs> you know on the teacher's desk so that's proof right there that, that we live on a globe because I saw it in school I was taught it in school they had the same school that taught you that you evolved from an ape you mean that same school and you will admit, that, oh yeah, that's a lie. We don't, we didn't evolve from apes. So you admit that part's a lie, but you won't admit that the globe is a lie as well. And I've already covered the Bible on that in a previous video. You know, the Bible is nothing but a flat Earth book. You cannot come up with a globe in the Bible. Now, hey, it's, it's not there. It just isn't there. You know, and like I said, Joshua chapter ten blows it out of the water that chapter completely destroys um, the uh, heliocentric model anyway that's enough for that yeah this is my old stomping grounds here the sun is going down and the sun is not 93 million miles away okay i mean use your common sense you can see it it's not that far away so Science wants you to don't believe what you can see, only believe what they tell you, even though that contradicts what you see or experience. I don't feel like I'm moving, but they say, oh, you're moving, you're spinning. Well, <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> you know, so I'm, anyway, there's plenty of videos on YouTube about that. I pretty much stick with uh, what the Bible says. And that's because you can't go wrong there. So there you go. So anyway, yeah, that's my old house. Uh, you know, there you go. It brings back a lot of memories here. You know. But anyway, I guess I'll walk back in this way, this direction. Yeah, there's Pierre's house. He's a Norwegian. But I hear that he, uh, him and his wife went back to Norway for a while, so they're not there. Yeah, that, you know, he, uh, he's a good guy. But uh, yeah, look at them kids out there. See, imagine being a kid here on the beach, and this every day this is what you have. You know, you don't need a park or swings. Well, you, you have the ocean right here. <laughs> you know, cool. All right, that's enough for now. It's been five minutes. I'll catch you on the flip flop.